Okay guys, it's Fishy Dubs Fishing here. And I was having trouble with the boat trailer. It's a um, year and a half old. And I probably launched it, you know, in and out of the water probably about 50 times, 60 times. And I rinse it off and everything in and out. And this is the biggest failure, okay, with disc brakes on a trailer. This is the number one thing that fails on you. What was happening was the wheels were locking up on me. I would bring it home. It would sit in the yard for a couple of weeks, a month. I would go to move it again, and the wheels were locked up. This is the culprit here. Believe it or not, these are brake pads. And they're totally destroyed. They just disintegrate. I don't know what kind of material. It must be the cheapest steel they could use on these things. But they're totally shot. So I got some new pads here. And I took and added another layer of paint on them. Maybe to help it um, out a little bit longer. So I took the caliper off. On this particular trailer, there's two cap screws on the back that hold the caliper. So you take these screws out and the brake pads were jammed in the caliper. So I had to get a hammer and, and knock it off with a hammer. It, it eventually came off. And this is the piece that floats. And these pins, you want to have grease on these pins. Um, otherwise it'll lock up on you if you don't have the pins greased so I greased them up I'm gonna put it back in here work it in there and these are the caps that go on the back I put grease in the cap so when you push the cap back on the grease will get in there on the stud Okay, so those are in place. So now we're going to get the pads back on here, the new pads. Uh, let's see, the other side went fairly easy. Okay, that one went right in. Now, the caliper seems to be, you know, in, in the spot where it was when I took it apart. So I'm gonna try to put it back together without compressing the caliper. If the caliper looks like it's out, then you might have to compress the caliper with a seat clamp. I showed you how to do that on my uh, Hemi when I changed the brakes on the front of that, so watch that video. So now, we'll try to get it back in place. If it don't go over the rotor, you would have to press the caliper. Okay, so it went right over the rotor with no problem. So, we're good there. This is really very simple to do. But what gets you is the pads. Um, they start rusting up and they fuse in there so they don't move anymore and they lock up on the rotor and that's why your wheel uh, doesn't move. So I'm going to get these, um, these cap screws and they didn't have no lubricant on them when I took them out and they fought me all the way so I'm putting this special never seize this is this is a marine grade never seize 
it's made for salt water applications it's made by um, Chesterton it's premium nickel and uh, nickel is what you need on salt water applications okay so I'm gonna get these screws started and then I'll get back to you okay guys I got these in place I put the two screws back in behind it and I tightened them up pretty good and uh, this spins with no problem now there's rust on these if you want to wire brush it off you can I'm just gonna hit the brakes a couple of times when I get back on the road and that'll clean it right up these rotors maybe the next time I do the brakes these rotors are gonna have to be done it looks like I'm only gonna get about three years out of these rotors so I'm gonna clean this up here a little bit I'm gonna clean the inside of this rim uh, salt gets salt water gets in there and it it's starting to corrode the back of the rim so I'm gonna clean it all up and then put grease on it and over here I'm gonna put never seize on this and um, I put some on the threads they say you're not supposed to put anything on lug nut uh, threads because it's a binding fit but on a boat trailer you know is different than a car you know you're not going a hundred miles an hour so I'm gonna put never seize on all of this and then I'll get back to you when I'm ready to put the wheel on Alright guys, this is all cleaned up. I cleaned all this up in here and um, I'm going to get some of this on there. You know, uh, the more stuff you have, the more work you're going to have. You know, I'm fortunate that I can do this stuff myself. I do all my own maintenance on the boat, everything from uh, from the hull up to up to the radar unit on top of the hard top. I do everything. If you're not fortunate enough uh, to do it, you're going to have to pay somebody to do it. And with marine any kind of off-road uh, equipment even on-road vehicles I do all the maintenance on my truck I you know if you have to pay somebody to do that you know it's gonna cost you money so the more stuff you have the more stuff you want you want four-wheelers and three-wheelers and motorcycles and jet skis you know it, it's gonna require maintenance you know this rig is only a year and a half old and who would have thought I would be doing maintenance on this this early in the game but the salt water just eats everything up now these rotors look like they're just regular cast iron rotors they might have been coated with something which is gone now uh, if you want to prevent this you got to buy stainless steel rotors and they're gonna cost you a small fortune to put rotors on all four wheels you're probably looking at between a thousand and two thousand dollars for stainless steel rotors so you know it's a replaceable item you're gonna have to replace it okay I'm gonna get some grease on the inside of this and then we're gonna get the wheel back on and that's about it um, there's no bleeding involved because we didn't take any of the brake lines apart 
we just put the pads on and uh, it'll be good to go now these wheels they're spinning with the pads that are on there they're spinning I just bought enough pads to do one axle so I'm gonna buy another set of pads and then the next wheel that locks up on me I'll change the pads on there or I'll just do it as part of maintenance because when they get this far gone and, and the pad material comes off of the metal plate you're gonna start tearing up your rotors this plate will start dragging on the rotors and you'll tear the rotors up so you'll have to do everything if you let it go that far so I'm gonna order the pads and I'll probably do the other axle uh, maybe a month or two from now okay so that's it guys that's how you do brakes on a trailer now uh, subscribe to my channel make sure you hit the like button and watch some of my other videos um, I'm trying to get out fishing so there's going to be a lot of fishing coming up soon because all the maintenance work is done okay guys